right, so it is indeed time to find out about the Turtleneck Society and much more. Uh, joining us right now, the creator and the director of the Turtleneck Society web series, Samantha Russo joins us. Hello. Hi. Hi. And uh, Greg Gavere is with us as well. You're an actor mm -hmm. with the Turtleneck Society web series. Now, you're showing up here as Greg, or are you as, are you one of the characters? I think a little bit of both a today. A little bit of both. Yeah. Okay. We'll explain that in seconds. Samantha, tell us what the Turtleneck Society is all about. Right. So I guess when you think of the word turtleneck, uh, you're thinking timeless. Mm -hmm. That's what I al I'm always thinking. Extravagant. Timeless. Yes. Poised. Refined. You know? uh, a little scratchy, honestly. Uh, a little uncomfortable yeah. sometimes, <laughs> but it keeps you warm against the cold that we're experiencing today. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, but so the web series itself is um, a pilot that we're set to shoot in April. And it is a mockumentary web series about a group of people who all wear the turtleneck sweater. Hmm. Um, and so we're exploring themes like class, uh, social structures, um, race, all of these things, um, but in like a really funny way. Okay. I tell you what, how about we, we've got a teaser yeah. to explain to us a bit more about what the Turtleneck Society is all about. Have a look. I am honored to declare that my society, with all of its elegance, poise, and prestige, is always growing and looking for new members. And so I cordially invite you to join me, join us, the Turtleneck Society, to celebrate not just the fashion nadir that keeps our vulnerable esophagi warm during frigid winter months, but also to join a club that values prestige on the same level as intelligence. In May 2018, I aspire that the intricate thread of life that brings us all together will bring us together, much like the stitches that comprise this intricate fabric. To the Turtleneck Society, right there. Now, now, Greg, uh, who, are, who who is that character? Uh, that's the character of Elaine Improviste. Uh, he's the president of the Turtleneck Society. Yeah. Um, his character is very much um, he's embodiment. He's the embodiment of the stitches that hold together the society, making mm -hmm. sure people don't unravel, uh, <laughs> so to speak. There's a there's a lot of uh, zany characters, and uh, basically they're all trying to compete, and there's a lot of conflict. So Elaine's the glue that holds them all together. Interesting. Sa Sam, how many uh, amazing zany characters are there? Uh, so there's exactly seven, um, and seven's a bit of like a symbolical number for the society. Um, it's like a special number for them. Um, but yeah, no. So we have the president. Uh, we have. Um, essentially, it's a bit of a boys' club right now, um, and there's like the one kind of token female character, but. That means that the society has place to grow. Okay. Um, so it has a lot of traditionalist values, um, but these values are also meant to kind of like be turned on their heads okay. or like subverted. Okay. So, so what made you decide to create this? I mean, what are your influences? I mean, watching different skit television or, or stuff on YouTube? Or? Right. So uh, definitely like things like The Office, for instance. So that kind of mockumentary kind of feel. Mm -hmm. Um, where characters are in situations and they're either talking to the camera, that kind of thing. Um, but also, I, we want to go for more of like an aesthetic appeal, so more of like the films like Wes Anderson, so more of like that glossy look to sort of um, explore uh, the turtleneck. Like, uh, they're supposed to be refined, right? So I think the visuals should also capture that okay. about them. Um, but also, the, uh, like the team of people around this creation of the web series um, we have a lot of people that I, I've met in university. Um, I, I met Greg here uh, in Ottawa at the Fringe Festival. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of like slam poetry, that kind of stuff. A lot of acting in this community. Um, and uh, so, so yeah, I guess, and the inspiration for this actually came when I gave an ex-boyfriend a turtleneck uh, for Christmas. <laughs> and he never wore it, of course, uh, yeah. because people don't really wear turtleneck sweaters. They're not really cool. <laughs> um, and he, wow. he's, he's an actor, though, so I got him to act in this, and he created this this wonderfully hilarious character called Soren von Sorensen. Okay. Um, so, yeah, okay. that's okay. Like the backstory. <laughs> that's good. Uh, all right, so people need to get on board and, and support this, Greg. Mm -hmm. So, so, so what, what is needed exactly here? So do we do you need funds to get this on? on well, on I think Sam's probably on. a good person to talk to about All right, that. cool. Let's ask Sam again. Um, What's well, going on, Sam? Well, well sure, yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, we have an Indiegogo campaign currently running from now until April 2nd. Um, and if you feel like supporting or like making any donation or supporting in any other way, 
Um, essentially, we just need some money to uh, secure a location that we want to shoot at. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, and and yeah. uh, can I ask you this, Greg, though? Uh, apparently, wine is a big uh, feature in these. Yes. Why is yeah. Wine such a um, you know, some of the members of the society actually just drink dealcoholized wine, uh, you know, because not everybody enjoys the, the taste. But mm -hmm. I myself find wine to be one of the most refined experiences you can possibly have on your taste buds. Um, so, you know, some people say we use the wine as a means of escaping our uh, depressive tendencies, but me, personally, I use it to just ch relax <laughs> and have a good time. Glad I asked this question. That's good. All right. Well, Samantha Russo and Greg Guevara of the Turtleneck Society web series. Best place to go online? Facebook, I guess, to find the Indiegogo? Facebook or Twitter, okay. uh, Instagram. All over the place. We yep. wish you all the best. That's a lot of fun. And uh, best of luck with the Turtleneck Society web series. Okay. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you. We've got more coming up. How about this? Peter and the Star Catcher is coming. And we've got all the details next on Daytime Ottawa.